You don't have to come and confess that you did it. We're looking for you. We we gonna find you. I'm letting you know now, so you can run and tell that, What's homeboy. It? Hey guys, Shuri here. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do a commentary for Jamie's segment of the Extreme Couponing Show, so here it is. First, for all those who do not know who she is, Jamie's also known as the Diva for Coupons or Extreme Coupon Diva, and one of the people that was featured on the show Extreme Couponers, which aired this past Wednesday evening. Last year, she made a name for herself in the couponing community on blogs and deal sites after she posted two videos of herself misusing coupons by using them intentionally on the wrong products. One example of this was her use of the $10 Crest White Strips coupons on sample packs of the Tide detergent. In addition to misuse of coupons, she showed herself using a counterfeit coupon. It was a $5 off Procter & Gamble printable coupon which doesn't even exist and is on the Coupon Information Center's list of counterfeit coupons. After a negative response from the community, she subsequently took down her videos and deleted her YouTube account. Prior to doing so, she stated in one of her YouTube comments that, quote, I am doing exactly as Be Sensible told me. Perhaps they should be contacted? I had no idea of many dimensions of fraud and I apologize for misdirecting. Chrissy from Be Sensible responded to Jill Cataldo's blog that, Jamie is no longer a Be Sensible educator. We contacted her after her target trip and let her know that these are not things that we teach and she has not been with Be Sensible since then. After the previews for the show aired, a few people who had seen her YouTube videos raised concerns that it was the same Jamie. The show was filmed at a Safeway, and by noting that it was filmed during the week of February 4th, we can determine what was on sale, what the prices were, and all the coupons that were available to her. The first cue that she engaged in a fraudulent transaction is that many of the coupons that she used seem to be for items that she is not shown to have purchased, or has purchased the wrong size. The best conjecture is that she purchased Honey Nut Cheerios, Lucky Charms, and Kicks, which were on sale that week for $1.99 a block. However, is seen using 75 cents off one Fiber One Zero coupon. Dissecting her transaction further, we can see in the show that she used coupons for 50 cents off Pillsbury French Bread and $5 off two Nivea Lotion. However, she is seen purchasing Pillsbury can rolls and Nivea body wash, not lotion. She is also seen using coupons for 50 cents off 4 pack of Yule Plate, but use them on single cups. She is shown using coupons intended for a larger package of budding lunch meats on a much smaller 2 ounce package. Furthermore, something is amiss when we look at her shopping spreadsheet, where there is a column showing the manufacturer codes of all of her coupons. This is most likely because she knows that she can use one coupon for one product on another, knowing that they are from the same manufacturer and will match. Match. Let's give Jamie the benefit of the doubt and say that she was telling the truth when confronted about her original YouTube videos. What excuse does she have now for her coupon misuse on the show? She has none since she was confronted and should have known what she was doing was fraudulent. Even if she was absolutely clueless, everyone is charged with knowing the law and it is relevant if someone else told her otherwise. However, I don't believe a word of what she says for a second and it's very clear what her intent was. First and foremost, I would like to commend the entire couponing community for taking the right position and coming together to compile all the information. Jill for her informative posts on her blogs and everyone that came forward with the information. I know we are all disgusted that Jamie would have the audacity to do this on TV and for TLC for airing the show despite being warned by many couponers. It is clear to me that TLC and the show do not plan to do anything as their complaints have fallen on deaf ears, so I would advise everyone to file a complaint with the Federal Communication Commission using Form 2000E to have the show taken off the air. I have found someone that does have the original Target YouTube videos and I will try my best to get a hold of them ASAP so that I can upload them and send them to any relevant parties to expose Jamie for being the pathetic and shameful Cooper owner that she is. I know she has disabled comments to her Facebook page stating that this was some sort of coordinated effort to attack her and her Facebook page, but the truth is out there and your real friends and fans are going to know you for the scammer that you are. I'm sure you'll probably threaten legal action or violence against me like you and your so-called friends and fans have done to those who have posted criticism on your Facebook wall. But we all know that your pitiful attempts to bully are empty and idle threats. Even if you cry foul and that we have made libelous statements about you, the truth is an absolute defense and you have only brought this upon yourself. And just to FYI, there's nothing about the way you dress that says she has a lot of money. And your little dance on the show was pitiful, to say the least. Anyways, that's all I have to say for now, but I'm sure there will be another video in the works with updates as this is unwinding. Please comment below with your thoughts and if you have any input, as to how we as a couponing community should proceed. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.